guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl ks today we're making mac and cheese here are the greens that i'll be using today the elbows of mac and cheese now cheddar cheese sharp cheddar evaporated milk i have the egg i have the butter in which i have grass-fed butter which is way better for me i love it and we have cheese so let's get started Okay guys, so I am going to start off by cutting my cheese into little pieces. What you want to do is cut it into cubes. Right now, what I'm doing is opening it up. Which the cheese smells so good guys. I love this cheese. See, I'm slicing it in half. And from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into cubes. Okay, so now guys, I'm stacking it up, I'm cutting it into cubes, which is really good because you want to be able to have the cheese melt evenly in your mac and cheese. And now I'm going to place some of my cheese in a bowl just to get it out of the way. That way I can start cutting the next batch of cheese. Guys, I love this cheese also. This cheese is really good. first batch. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to finish cutting it and once it's done we'll just get to the next step. All right, let's get on to the next step. Right now, I just got the finished boiling to my mac, my macaroni. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna place one full stick of butter and one half a stick of butter. Now, this is what usually some people melt their butter, but no, I like to place the whole stick in inside because it's just really good, guys. It just melts all over the place. And this is something that I do. What I'm going to do is just going to mix it in and just let all that just goodness of butter melt all in there. 
And guys, I wanted my mac and cheese to be nice and buttery. Now I'm adding my pepper and I'm gonna add salt. Guys, I did not add any sour cream because I just, it's something that I usually don't do. And I didn't have any on hand. Now, the next step is, guys, I'm going to add my eggs. What you had, just one egg I put in there. Just one egg. And I'm going to mix it all together. Now, next step is I'm going to add my cheese. Adding my diced cheese. Guys, this is going to come out so good. It looks really good already. Now I'm adding my evaporated milk. Guys, and I like the fact that my stick of butter is still together because once it gets in the oven, it's just going to melt. And it will just spread out and melt. So that's what I really love about just putting the stick of butter. And I'm adding my cheese.
adding the rest of my evaporated milk. And the next step, guys, is I'm going to add my layer of my cheese on top. Excuse, guys, I'm sorry that the spoon was in the way. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for an hour on 325. And see you when it's done, guys. Now it's done. My mac and cheese, guys. Look at that. It looks so good, guys. It looks really good. Look at this. This is so good. Look at this. Look at how good this looks. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Share. Please share my video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. This is just so hard, guys.